I'm Zach from Air on Board, and today I wanted to show you our new MacBook cases. We make these for the 13 and 15 inch models, any from the past few years, so any that are like a Retina one or have a touch bar on it are gonna fit in these models. You just need to get the one that's the same size for yours, so 13 inch for 13 inch and 15 inch for 15 inch. We make these in four colors. The one I'm holding right now, this is espresso brown. This is a darker brown and then has some pull up on it. What that means is it just, it shows almost two tones of color and uh, it's just due to the oils in the leather. So it's kind of cool because you can actually rub into it and the oils will go right back to that color and make it kind of uniform as well. This one right here, one of my personal favorites, this is tobacco. This is a light brown color. The reason I like this one quite a bit is that over time, if you um, if you use this quite a bit, it'll it'll gain a lot of patina and it'll get a lot of character and then it turns into like this, this rich golden brown over time. And then we also have chestnut. This is another brown, of course. Uh, this one has some reddish hues overall to it. And then we have midnight black. This one is black, obviously. So I wanted to show you guys the construction of it. Uh, we're huge fans of simple designs and we uh, definitely adhere to the less is more mentality. I don't like buttons, snaps, zippers, any of that kind of stuff, especially on a mat case because I don't want it to get scratched. I don't want it to get broken either. And we also made this to where, obviously we don't know what Apple's gonna make, but hopefully going forward, this will still fit multiple generations of Macs because usually they just get thinner and thinner and smaller. So of course it'll still fit in the same size. So you can use this even if you change Macs later on. So as for the design itself, we basically use two pieces of leather and then there's a lining leather on the inside. I want to use as little bit of leather as possible. Um, by that I mean I didn't want a bunch of pieces patched together because that's just gonna um, weaken the construction of it overall because it's just a bunch of pieces all stitched together and that makes more breaking points. So it is more expensive to have it made this way, but this is gonna be one of the best ways to make it. So what we have done, is we make it, we made it almost the same size or same design as the envelope, which is one of the reasons why we call it the envelope case. It just has this flap under here that holds the entire piece in. So to open and close it, you literally can just grab the flap, you can grab it from the side, the front, whatever. And on the inside, it's pigskin lined. This is a huge benefit because it's easy to clean up. I mean, hopefully nothing spills in there, but if it does, it's super easy to clean out. And then of course it's super smooth. So there's not gonna be anything that's gonna scratch your Mac if you put it in here. So uh, that's the front of it, pretty easy. And this will get easier to close over time too as the leather breaks in. And then on the back, there's just one pocket here, one big pocket. And this will fit anything um, like a newspaper, I mean, I wanna say newspaper, most people don't have a newspaper, but like a Kindle, um, a notebook, a uh, notepad, anything like that. You can also put your charger in here and the charging cable. You can store all kinds of different stuff in the back. It's pretty useful to have back there. And then we built this with uh, thick full grain leather. That way you would have a lot of protection on these corners here. So if it does get dropped, hopefully it never happens, but if it does, it'll have a lot of protection. It'll hit that hard, thick corner of leather before it ever gets to your Mac, which is a lot further on the inside. And then uh, as per usual with all the rest of our products, we use a super strong thread. It's polyester thread that's UV resistant. So this will hold together really well and it won't fade over time. So that way you can be sure that all the leather will stay together and you're not gonna see broken threads over just a short amount of time or anything like that. But that's it guys, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, that's the way we like to do things and I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this. I know that a lot of you have been asking about it. We ran out of stock of these super fast when we first got them and now we finally got some more in. So I'm super excited to hear what you guys think about it.